Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 26th of 2025 is titled The Mini Tales of Comet G3 Atlas. So what do we see here? Well, here we see Comet Atlas, as we've looked at over the past week or so, and it recently passed very close to the sun, and the tidal forces and heat of the sun seem to have caused the nucleus to be breaking apart. And that may be part of the reason that the tails are so prominent. As the nucleus splits apart and the comet disintegrates, a lot of material being expelled out into space. Now that's generally what happens with the comet. Why do we get a tail on a comet? Well, a couple of things. First of all, the heat of the sun will vaporize some of the material on the surface of the comet. The comet itself is big, a big ball of ice with some dusty material scattered around it. And the heat will then vaporize some of those ices and will cause them to form a head around the comet. So the material, the comet not having very strong gravity, won't hold them very strongly. And that material will form kind of a halo around the comet nucleus itself. And then the solar wind will push that material back. So as it pushes backwards, it will be stronger than the gravity of the comet and be able to push it away from the comet. So that's where we get the actual comet itself. Now the nucleus of a comet would not be visible to us. We can't see the nucleus from Earth. And that's because it's so small that it just would not be visible at the scales we can see. The only reason we actually see comets like this one is be when they come into the inner solar system and are close to the sun. And the sun actually heats them up and gives us the tails such as we see today. Now here with Comet Atlas, we do see a number of tails. You can see the very prominent tail going almost straight up. But you can also see several other tails going off toward the right hand side there. So a good question for astronomers is to learn why we have so many different tails here as compared to other comets and whether that has anything to do with the fact that the comet is breaking up and will while visible right now in the for those in the southern hemisphere will quickly begin to fade over the coming weeks and disappear uh, from sight completely. So comets are only visible during that time when they are closest to the sun. And many of them that do disintegrate are then of course are ones that will not come back again. Other comets do come back on a regular period ranging from a few years to hundreds or even thousands of years depending on the exact length of their orbit. But if they ever get too close to the sun that can be their last visit into the inner solar system. So that was our picture of the day for January 26th of 2025. It was titled The Mini Tales of Comet G3 Atlas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Half Dome Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.